Well, it's it's been a it's been a busy day. It's been a productive day. The the, the intent, of course, is to try to get that last vote, and we've been hitting several of the polling sites, uh, both inside the city of Memphis and, and outside the, the city of Memphis, uh, trying to just really gauge the turnout. Uh, the turnout has varied. We've seen some places where it's been very strong and some areas where it's been very weak. I think the numbers are great. We, 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 we got a, a team working over in the next office. Numbers are coming in from, from all over the city. Just about uh, what we expected. There will probably be about 100,000 people vote today. And uh, all over the city, black, white, Republican and Democrat are voting. And uh, they'll go out today and they'll vote uh, for the leadership that that they want to represent them over the next four years, and I'm confident that person will be me. I think there's a very clear distinction between my opponent and me, and uh, that's what I've tried to emphasize throughout the campaign, is that I encourage voters to, to look at uh, our level of experience, uh, my executive experience, what I've been able to accomplish uh, in the last eight years as the, as the sheriff and compare that experience with the experience of my, my, uh, my opponent. Well, I've already been in office for the last uh, seven and a half months and uh, we've run a calm citizen involved open door mayor's office. We've done a lot of things. Uh, we formed 16 task forces. We finished 16 task forces on time by July 1st. Uh, the the mid task force was probably uh, the, the, my, the jewel of my task forces. We saved the regional medical center. Leadership requires more than just managerial skills and accomplishments. It requires someone that has a vision for where the county needs to be in five to ten years. Uh, planning is, is very, uh, very important when you look at a county the size of Shelby County. We've got to effectively plan so that we can work toward the creation of jobs, improving education, fighting crime. All of those core issues that are challenging our community require somebody that has a vision for the future. We, we're going to increase uh, uh, the jobs here in Shelby County. I mean, that's going to be top, one of my top things, economic development, keeping companies here, bringing companies in. Uh, education is top of my list. And, and of course bringing crime down, getting the drugs off the street. If we can do that, we'll have a safe, beautiful community. So leadership requires managerial skills with a vision for where we want to take the community in the future. And that's where there's a very clear distinction between Mark Luttrell and my opponent. We just, we've had a wonderful time as a, as a mayor and I've served the community well and, that, and, and, and the citizens need to send me back so they can have this same type of leadership that we've had over the last seven and a half months.